Mr. Rubik. Is that some kind of Russian name? Mr. Rubik. I think I'll sue for therapy. Your cubes are Det är en het och vacker junidag när deltagarna anländer till den ungerska huvudstaden och mjukar upp. Professor Rubiks kub sysselsätter folk i hela världen, inte bara när de vrider fram dess mönster. Den har också blivit föremål för ett otal artiklar i tidningar och böcker, till och med en doktorsavhandling. Den har hamnat på frimärken. Det har bildats kubensällskap och kubenförbund. Det har skrivits en låt om Mr. Rubik and his Cubic som blivit populär i många länder och hamnat på hitlistor. Vi hör den här i bakgrunden. Tävlingen invigs med ett party där en tårta, naturligtvis i form av kuben, är mest framträdande rätt. Och den som först sätter spaden i tårtan är uppfinnaren professor Rubik själv förstås. Estét kívánok, kedves nézők, ez egy, ez egy világműsor. És miután világműsor, már most az elején elnézést kérek önöktől, világ nagyon sok televíziójában fogják levetíteni. És az volt ezeknek a televízióknak a kérése, hogy angolul folyék a műsorvezetés. Természetesen azért magyarul is hallható lesz majd, de itt a helyszínen a Vigadóban mindez angolul történik. So, hello everybody. Welcome to the first ever Rubik Cube World Championship to be held in Hungary's beautiful capital city of Budapest. The first ever Rubik Cube World Championship. Where else could it be held but in the country, in the city, where the inventor himself lives? The inventor of the puzzle of puzzles, the inventor of the ultimate puzzle, the inventor of the famous Rubik Cube, which many people call uh, the most maddening puzzle. The president of the jury is the inventor, Professor Erna Rubik. I would like to introduce the referee to you, Mr. Peter Sanderson from Great Britain. According to our rules, the competitors are now warming up, but the cubes are already here. They are in sealed cases, all on the table uh, in front of the jury. In the presence of a lawyer, they have been sealed and now they will be open. So I ask uh, the lawyer and I ask the jury to open the first case. So according to the jury's decision, it can be used. Thank you very much. Referee, please. So people will come up to this cube and they will pick their cubes from the sealed and now opened case. 19 champions, champions of 19 countries of three continents are starting now. They are bidding for the first ever world title in the Rubik Cube World Championship. Luc van Lappen. Luc van Lappen has a personal best of unbelievable Hello. 14 seconds. Hello, nice to see you. How are you this morning? A little bit nervous. Ah, a bit nervous. A uh, great bit nervous. Do you think that you can surpass your 14 seconds? No. No, you don't. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, now you have 15 seconds to study your cube. 15 seconds to pick it up. Pick it, pick it up, up, please. He doesn't, he doesn't even want to have the 15 seconds. He had only 10 seconds. Right? On your marks. On your marks. <laughs> That's remarkable that he didn't want to have the 15 seconds. Go. Three, two, one, go. 25 years of age, he's a student. He lives uh, in Krajna, near to Brussels. His main hobby is the study of electronics, and his best official time for solving the cube is 14 seconds, which is the third time here. 
for the inquiry that he has reported uh, even a fast time. He has also managed to solve 100 cubes in 54 minutes during one continuous attempt which achieved national publicity for this likable cubes. Eight now. Eight now. 32.92 seconds. The referee is looking at it. Is that correct, Mr. Sanderson? Let's have a look at the Hungarian champion. Three, two, one, go! I must tell you that his best personal time is 29 seconds, which is uh, not among the best time here. It's only the 16th in the field. He's a 26-year-old mechanician from Nyíregyháza, a town in East Hungary. He lists his hobby as listening to music, particularly foreign rock groups, and he has a large collection of records and cassettes of his head. 2449. <laughs> And the champion of the United States is ready for his attempt at the World Championships in Budapest. Three, two, one, start! Mintai attends Eagle Rock High School in Los Angeles, California and intends to study electrical engineering at university next year. He arrived in the United States three years ago with his family from Vietnam. He first saw the cube in June 1981 and sold it in seven days of purchase in under two minutes. Min Tai became American national champion in front of 30 million viewers on the top-ranking TV show That's Incredible with a time of 26.06, nearly the same as achieved here in Budapest. <laughs> 27.16. The next competitor here would be the representative of Japan, Ken Ichi Ueno. Study the cube for 15 seconds, please. Ken Ichi Ueno is 18 years old. He was born on the 6th of October in 1963. And it's quite remarkable. It is the first ever time in the history of these 18 years of his life that he's abroad. It's back on the table. And the champion of Japan will start his attempt for the world championship, for the world title in Budapest now. Three, two, one, go! Kenichi Ueno is a student at Sapporo Yobigaku in three university school at Hokkaido near where the 1972 Winter Olympic Games were held Sapporo City. He lives in the suburb of Tomakomai and lists his hobbies as solving quizzes and puzzles and listening to synthesized theme music. His best time for solving the cube is 16 seconds, the fourth best among these competitors. 27.56, third best time. Congratulations. Congratulations. Third best time. Last competitor of the first round, the champion of the Netherlands, the Dutch champion, Mr. Gus Schulz. Study the cube for 15 seconds. Using only 14 seconds of the possible 15, it's back in the tray and he's ready for his attempt at the World Championship with a personal best of 17.33, the sixth best time of the present world rankings. Gus Razu Schulz, three, two, one, start. Born on the 2nd of February in 1965, so he's 17. Uh, he attained his 17.33 with a smooth cube, as he's saying. 
He's a student of mathematics. His hobbies, apart